What's up guys, I'm Silver Sight. Welcome back to some more Yakuza Like a Dragon Part of oh, Part 12, Chapter 8 now. Cause Chapter 7 was actually pretty short, so I'm gonna put them videos all together. I never know how short these are gonna be, so freak it, man. So many chapters are long, so many short. Please step inside. Yo, as you can see, check the last video out. So I gotta say. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? I don't mean they're a war. Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. Mm -hmm. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. Oh, idiots. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. <laughs> what the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? Prisoner. We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? Yep. That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? Dumb! They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It is pointless. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic? People can't there? get along, yeah. Oh can... boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. Hmm. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ijincho. But the Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, the gutters practically ran with Liuman and Seryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? <laughs> you want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. And you take the money. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasuga Gun, calm down. Don't I'm talk to me, Zhao. I'm about to whoop your ass. Because I'm pissed off right now. First, I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. 
Now I'm here with the Eijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell him, tell me! Why should I calm down? He's got a point. Exactly. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Ogikubo. Yutaka Ogikubo. Ogikubo. I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens Liberal Party. And all three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? Nope. Oh, fine. Get on with it. Ogikubo <laughs> was the man who proposed making fake money in a Jincho. Okay. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seryu clan and the newly arrived Liumang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed. Solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. Mm. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liumang would import special paper, the Seryu clan would print and transport the money. How did Ogi Kubo know the counterfeiting process? He didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. Mm -hmm. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Ogikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Ogikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Uh-huh. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? No, it's better for him. Now, that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. Hmm. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Leo Mung. Oh. And you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mung's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first gray zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Hmm? Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Gotta pay them because too. they were getting continuous payouts exactly. from the counterfeiting operation. There. And that wasn't the only thing. What else? Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. Hmm. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogi Kubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. True. Oh. Perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Joel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. 
Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted, he brought us a proposal that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, we would perform the surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomang. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Damn. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. Hmm. You can't deny the ends justify the means. And you are Yakuza. Ichiban. Nah. Well. What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Ijin Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> That's Namba. What's gonna do with us and Namba? This get ugly. Your friend Namba-kun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our brother. Just tell where his brother is! Dude. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? He wants to catch him. Are you looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. Yeah, Karasan. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Kasago, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting... Yeah, the yeah, wall yeah, will shut come. up, Zal. If I whoop your ass, man. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Bleach to Grey! <laughs> yeah, that would suck. You. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasugaku. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Not really. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Exactly. Before you insist on that, 
I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga. I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But, uh, my men have gotten a little rough Bro, is that how you talking, bro? Let's grab right now. Son of a bitch. Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. I'm still but are you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Exactly. Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Yeah, of course you do. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this, what will you do? Oh, I'm gonna choose. Guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Oh, I'm about to say. That one makes me sick, bro. He talks too fucking much. Ooh, that shit is intense. <laughs> it's intense, man. Come on, we own man, I don't owe this city nothing, bro. What you what you mean I was in the zone? Y'all the one who took me here. If I was I already got shot by Fiki, what you call it, and I wasn't Fiki, what's called if he wanted to finish me, he would have finished me there. I don't understand that. Why did he shoot me and they just dump I guess they dumped me on the body and I got transferred to the I don't owe the city nothing. What are you talking about? They shot me and left me for dead. If anything, it was just pure luck that I ended up there, and it was pure luck that never saw me. <laughs> it ain't cause the freaking city. I own the city. Shit. What are you talking about? I the beats all that. Everyone, for y'all little operation, you think Omi Alliance would have probably took it over anyways and shit? It's so many things that could have happened. Let's just say, oh, it's cause y'all little business operation. No, that could have been so many things. If y'all think it didn't exist, I, who knows? I probably told you it could have been expanded. Omi could have expanded. I don't know. I don't know what could happen. They just, just can't, you just can't say, oh, it's because of us that we... Get the fuck out of here. I ought to whoop your ass, but Show me where he is. Be an idea, brother. Yo. So where's Dama then? No indication he left Injinko. In three. Engine three. So where did he go yes. then? If I wouldn't I think Bleach Japan would be his best bet. Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan. I don't know if it's freaking their boss would take two kind of let me whoop on their ass though. I did whoop the fuck at him. Oh, look at this shady figure. Oh, this. Who is this? This is the dude that freaking shot that in the face. Hmm? Who are you? I'm here to kill you just as I did the piece of filth, Matsu. Hmm? Matsu, wouldn't that guy that no you hide and attack the bar? What's that? You killed him? On whose orders? No one. I made the call. He was bitching that I went too far, but just a coward. I don't take orders from cowards, so I left Domiju. A new partnership is already probably providing much larger returns. Who would that be? Nothing you need to know, especially since you're getting, not getting past me. You'll die like monsters <laughs> did. Right? You sound like I'll be walking right over your broken ass pretty soon. But too late to take it back now, you fucker. Why did he just come back all of a sudden? Why did they say Domiju when he's not. Why don't they say next Domiju? You wanna go? And you missed? I don't know why my damage is not boosting. I don't understand that. Stomp! Oh, you're weak as fuck. That must, gonna one, that must got a one shot. Because he keeps spamming, that's got a one shot. Okay. Okay, buddy. Get... Go finish this off, Ichiban. Go finish his ass off. Damn! Freeze on him! Freeze on him! Oh shit! <laughs> For your weak ass, bro. <laughs> Why do you step to me, bro? Why do you step to me, bro? What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> just wipe his ass and just forget about it. Don't even talk about it anymore. I can see the lights. Those second floor is so weird there. Yo. Who knows who's waiting for us there? Let's be careful. What was the point of him, bro? We're strong enough if that's what you wanted to see. <laughs> Get this motherfucker, man. That, that man actually got me laughing, bro. He, <laughs> this man got me laughing, bro. He like so badass. They just saw that whole cussing of him and then he that weak. Oh, man. That's funny. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, 
Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Kume Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. The Liu Meng? Not Komijul? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh no. Oh. You a reporter? I know oh. you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? Hell yeah, that's my plan too. <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. Bruh. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um... Yeah, we're stronger. I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh, dear, dear Kume-kun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eugene Show arm of Bleach Japan. That's... Uh... Ogasawara-san. <laughs> what are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. Well, huh? I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma. Lao Ma? He is crooked then. Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank oh, you, you want to fight us? Oh, I wanted this. This is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey. Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Exactly. Whether he's alive or otherwise. That's all he wanted, man. And they just um, couldn't tell him. Zawarasan, what about me? You better go with him. What about to say? You want to fight him, little bitchy? Mabuchi. Yo, oh, man, I <laughs> wanted this. That was next too. simpering piece of human garbage a fitting in. <laughs> I didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. Exactly. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Ain't this from Nonomiya either. Hey, get that weapon out of here. I ain't skip. Yeah, and I'm about to windmill in your ass too, brother. Cool. Ah. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what the fuck this office up? Fuck the fuck it up! Woohoo! Ooh! Stop! Stop! Are you gonna step on Mubichi? Come on, brother! What you doing over there? Damn! Damn! Uh, okay, the color Mubichi ain't shit to me. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> the strategist. You were stretchy. You finally made an appearance. Yeah. What the hell is up with that spear thing? Oh, I've seen it before. On a statue of Guan Yu. It's uh, 
legendary Chinese weapon. Uh huh. So Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes. <laughs> if he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick. <laughs> So, so who are you fucking with? This toss his ass. So who are you fucking with? Okay, he got a lot of HP. Ah. Okay, okay. Dance on Omichi Bon. I can never. I can never get that. Why is this so freaking stupid? I can never get that. I'm pressing square. Am I tripping? You want to take? No, where do you want to bleed? Idiot! Da, da, da. Stun on him. Yeah, the Chinese arts. What do your Chinese arts get you, brother? Better keep it. Oh, okay. I know you're gonna get two two moves like that, brother. Yo! Is he a little more crazy than usual about tripping? <laughs> we look clean as fuck. And we gotta pick a sorry over here and it's freaking. <laughs> This freaking sexy outfit. No oh, bitchy drop kick to the face. I'm not even done yet. Damn. Stab him. Give him one good stab. You like this, don't you, BG? Ugh, dude. He's got all the thigh in his face. That's too good for him. Oh, didn't he miss it? Oh, boy. He made a mistake, brother. The damage, brother. Can't see what's happening. Oh, what's getting serious in there? Serious now. Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? That's your game of talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. I don't no care. Problem. Let's just deal with him. Exactly. Here we do, Ichiban. I gotta get you more SP, brother. Get your dodger, brother. Uh oh, I hope we don't one shot him. Okay. I had a feeling gonna do some hell of damage. You get serious too, Mop. You get serious too. We all getting serious in this bitch. Damn. You got him with the shield bass. Time. Well, I'm gonna get this goblin swipe. I don't know why I'm not. It's not boosting, bro. There's no way I'm not getting that shit, man. I should have healed her. I fucked up. Oh my god, bro. About to have that defense up. Come on, brother. Ain't for me. I treated it all for me. Look at him. Can't even touch me, brother. Get off me, bro. I heal up, bro. This move bitchy. Weak, man. That's what you're doing? You just gonna, you just give him this time to... Let's extend your dodge, fuck it. Don't attack You heal yourself, brother. Are you mad now? That's some Apodachi. Oh! Stalling him, he keeps talking all that shit. Stalling him, Ichiban. Uh, uh, uh. Boy, you can't break that so the match and lose it to him. This, my moves are too righteous, bro. What? <laughs> all you got. <laughs> what a rush. I forgot how great this can feel. Yep. Your ass whooped, huh? Oh, good. You can still talk. Oh! He is right dead. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, 
I was just following orders. Oh, you worked Who for the police you Japan. to pull this kind of shit? Police Japan do, huh? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. I had a feeling these motherfuckers just as cricket, Ogasawara. bro. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ichincho itself. What's he on about? <clears throat> he wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that. He had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> Makes sense. A crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes! Oh, why would he be a bunch of goody My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin Fleas. What do you mean? That's a nice name. <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin Three. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. Don't be alive. <laughs> You still don't get it? Don't be alliance. Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance oh, and Kamurocho. Shit. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I got. Do it again. You won't Don't stop talking. Never compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here. Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, Yanamba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. I hope we meet Okara-san again. Damn, you about to fight me, bro. Don't, bro. Don't do this. Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Gomi Jewel. Mm -hmm. Maybe, just maybe. They'll find my brother too. Mom, John. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man. Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide, at least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up. Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I Power. know. But I need their help to find my brother. <laughs> Just ask me. In the day really? You're just leaving? Want to stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind. I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. Hey, I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand. Searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. Is 
that the dude from Komarocha? Oh shit! Is that young master? What's up? Is that young master? Uh, uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Rio Aoki, oh. the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. It is the young master. I thought so. In Kamrocho, someone told me he died. Shit. I it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki. Not Aoki. Mm -hmm. Matsu, what's his name? I know him as. It's different with those glasses, for real. Young master. Oh shit! He can walk now. His name is Masato Arakawa. Dude, what the fuck? This Sir, story just don't stop, does it? During next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it then. Yeah, okay, way better. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. Mm. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It's Ogasawara. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well-staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Well, maybe a sun influence is way to go with the Omi Alliance. Still don't explain why we had to shoot Ichiban for it. I don't know why. I thought I don't know why Ichiban like he was so loyal to the Tojo Clan, bro. I thought you were more loyal to a coward son. So confusing. Like I don't get. Sometimes I don't get Ichiban. I'm trying to think, man. Who that built on him in the first place? Like, why does this all link up? We thought the young master was dead, but he became the governor. It's been 18 years, man. So he could have all that time. They say he died three years ago. When so when he died, that's when he became the governor and came rising up. I guess he looks younger than he did before. I guess because he looks healthier. Like you know, he has color back and everything. So I guess that medicine. He, he was rich as fuck. So. He's the governor, so yeah, he's above that dude because he's the department of what's called. He's like the um, police department. Of so he's above that dude too, and he talking about he was paying out him. He was paying out the freaking um, Omi Alliance and stuff so they can get the Tojo Clan. So he freaking all Kara's son is like way up there in power. So that's maybe that's the reason why he turned to Omi Alliance because he was his son was already about to take over the Tojo Clan. Why do you have to shoot Ichiban though? And I don't understand why Ichiban. I don't think Ichiban is even loyal to Tojo. They call him a Tojo Clan loyalist, but. Sometimes he talks like he's really still loyal to them. I'm like, I, I feel like he would be way more loyal to okara son if he didn't shoot him. I'm tripping if y'all don't like this shit. Man, get, get out of here, man. I don't even deserve to look at this story, man. I don't even care anymore. If y'all enjoyed that thumbs up button, subscribe. Past video annotations.
man, you know, such a dope character too, man. I, this is man. I'm gonna get into the next chapter. Stay psyched.